Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Trilobites had an extra pair of eyes, new fossil finds show 500 million years ago, the oceans teemed with trillions of trilobites, a now extinct group of marine arthropods that ruled the seas for more than 270 million years. Over 20,000 species have been described to date, and specimens can be found in every fossil collection. All trilobites had a wide field of vision, thanks to compound eyes, eyes made up of tens of thousands of tiny independent units, each with its own corneal lens and light-sensitive cells, but a new fossil discovery revealed that trilobites also had something called a celly eyes with light-sensitive cells in one cup-shaped depression, and a single lens, located in the center of the forehead, between the compound eyes the authors of the discovery, Dr. Bridget Shoneman from the Institute of Zoology at the University of Cologne, and Professor Drive Ewan Clarkson from the University of Edinburgh, examined a specimen of the trilobite species Alacapuro conincae with part of the head scraped off, found three almost identically shaped dark, inconspicuous and tiny oval spots of equal size on the front of the head. This clear, regular appearance distinguishes the structure from random formations formed by decay or fossilization, and corresponds to the expected relics of simple pigmented median eyes. Even if it is a single find, it supports the assumption that trilobites originally had central eyes, says Shoneman. Center eyes are found in most living arthropods and also in many fossil relatives of trilobites. They are thought to provide additional visual information that works independently of the compound eyes. Therefore, it seems strange that trilobites did not evolve such a useful organ. But previous research has simply overlooked the eyes, as they are indeed very difficult to spot on the fossil material. These eyes are present in larval stage trilobites, but lie beneath what is likely a thin transparent carapace that becomes opaque during fossilization, explained Shoneman.